Hey guys, I have got two devices here, the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. In this video we are going to quickly look at the differences between the two devices. Um, the first difference is pretty obvious, one of them is red and one of them is white. Um, let's um, flip over both of the devices and take a look at the back of them. This is pretty much the main major difference besides the colour, the fact that the red one has the AT&T logo, whereas the international version has the Samsung logo. Also on the AT&T version it says Galaxy S3 um, at the bottom there, whereas it does not on the right version. Uh, this is pretty much the only major difference in appearance between the two different devices. Um, there are a few other hardware differences that they can't really um, be shown on film. The main difference is that the AT&T version weighs about a gram more than the international version. And a gram doesn't sound like much when you say it. So when you hold them next to one another, you can definitely tell that the international version is lighter. You know, the AT&T version isn't heavy, though it is still noticeable if you get what I mean. Now, underneath the battery cover, they should look exactly the same. Let me remove the battery cover. Okay, there is the back of the AT&T version. And there is the back of the international version. They look um, identical. You know, you just have the micro SD slot. Um, I believe, yeah, that's micro SD and the micro SIM slot. So um, both of those devices um, both look identical there. Now let's go on to the actual differences um, in terms of specifications. The international version of the S3 only has 1GB of RAM, whereas the AT&T version has 2GB of RAM, so that is basically um, twice um, the memory. There is also a slight difference when it comes to network um, frequencies, um, which you know a lot of people probably wouldn't need to worry about. Um, though the AT&T version um, is LTE um, capable, um, it has the LTE 700 megahertz band, um, whereas the international version, or at least that international version does not, it does not have um, LTE, um, it only has 3G HSPA+. Um, so the major differences between these two, um, or as far as Australia is um, affected, is that the AT&T version doesn't support 3G 900 megahertz, whereas the international version does. So that's the main thing that would affect our Australians buying this device. Um, and I believe that they are the main differences between the two. Um, the AT&T version also has a 1.5 gigahertz um, processor compared to the um, 1.4 gigahertz processor in the international version. Um, I'm pretty sure that they are the same CPU from memory, just um, you know, clocked at different speeds. Um, so that is pretty much it for this video really. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. I believe that those are the only differences. Um, you know, if you had to choose between the two and they were both compatible with your, you know, network carrier. Um, well, it's hard to say really, the AT&T version is slightly heavier, though it does um, have a slightly, you know, more powerful um, CPU and more RAM. Though to be honest, I, I think that 1GB of RAM is enough um, memory for the device. I think that 2GB might be going a little bit overboard at this point in time, though that's just my personal opinion. Um, tell me what you think in the comments section below and thanks for watching.